Okay. It is the next comedian's birthday. His name is Corey. So if I could all, we could all do a happy birthday song to him, that'd be great. And I will start it, and you all sing along. And his name is Corey. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Corey. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, happy I stopped singing once I found out I was black. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't happy birthday. You know? <laughs> What's up, Cafe Jimmy? Y'all good? Yeah! Fuck, man. Happy to be here. It is my birthday. Um, I was having a good birthday, man, so I went to my parents' house and they having a good birthday party. I just turned 33. But I look young, you know what I'm saying? And what did you laugh and I don't? <laughs> I thought I looked good. The neighbor was there, right? And we got one of those crazy neighbors who drinks a lot, right? It's a true story. And he always like ruin stuff with everything and buy them over. And so it was my birthday. This sending singing happy birthday. So he says, Ah! How old are you? 33? Yeah. Jesus, right? Jesus. <laughs> the same age as Jesus. <laughs> Well, Jesus died at 33. And I'm like, that's nothing to be excited about. You know? <laughs> I'm looking at the cake. It's got like 12 candles on the cake, and I'm just like, you know, it's not going to be a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jesus, but I ain't trying to be exactly right. <laughs> you know? With the big shoes to fit on. You know? <laughs> So, um, I got a hat on. <laughs> I just got it from my parents' house, you know, I saw the hat, I said I'm going to try something different, do the hat on. Da, da, da. I wasn't really expecting to get responses, I was just, you know, it's a birthday hat. I got two responses since I've been up here, since I've been here. One side in the back, Dave Winfield, he says, yo, you look like the dude in King Kong, who got killed in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Okay. So I went outside and Sean, the bouncer, he was like, yo, you work at the post office? Because <laughs> that's the same hat that the post office people wear. And so I'm like, alright, that's cool. Then I thought about something, I was like, yo, black and white people have different perspectives on stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because like, they ain't waiting for the the hat, he thought jungle and King Kong. <laughs> Sean looked at the hat. He thought I had a job. He was like, oh. And I told him, brother, I am getting older, though, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of, I'm not saying it's new, but, you know, it's just, I'm starting to notice things that other people started noticing about me, too. Oh, uh, uh, hold on, I'm mumbling because I started, not because my lips are big. <laughs> Talking to my dude, right? And he's like, yo, Corey, man, you're getting older, man. Your swag is getting better. And I'm like, nah, man, my scoliosis is getting worse. <laughs> my swag, man, that's my practice cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> um, when the comedian was up here, the lady talked about, you know, she was walking down the street with the first hand. 12 black guys were walking up to her and she pulled the purse next to her, you know, and the dude I was, lady I was saying, she was like, you know, that was, that was kind of racist to say, you know, she shouldn't say stuff like that, and then and I was like, well, that's not being racist, you know, she was like, well, if you was walking down the street with a person, 12 black dudes, come up to you, wouldn't you be scared? And I was like, well, let's get one thing straight. 
If I'm walking down the street with a purse <laughs> and 12 black dudes are coming at me, I deserve a beating. <laughs> you need to beat me till I put that purse down. <laughs> I should not be carrying a purse. I should not be carrying a purse. <laughs> but I ain't mad at it. You know, something about Virginia, you know what I'm saying, like the culture of it. It kind of, you know, makes you profile, you know, different races and everything. But like, I've been in Virginia for a couple years, well, for a long time. I'm not really from here, from New York. So when I got to here, you know, I noticed there's like a lot of profiling. <laughs> I'm not mad at nobody because I'm starting to profile black people myself. <laughs> Seriously, you know, the other day I'm looking out the window and I see a black guy in a winter coat. And it's the summer, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this nigga's about to do something. <laughs> We do not wear cross-colored jackets anymore. It was like, sick. He just got out of jail and they gave him his clothes back. <laughs> you know, I'm like, stop, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking out for my safety of the neighborhood. So I'm like about to dial 911 and I'm like, yo, 911, we got a, a black guy out here. <laughs> he looks like he's up to something. <laughs> You see any weapons, sir? I ain't gotta see no weapons. <laughs> this nigga's up to something. He may not have nothing right now, but if you follow him, he's gonna have something on the <laughs> Just follow him to his house. <laughs> Another instance I had, I'm at the restaurant, one of my um, comedians, Paul Bass, if you follow him. Um, we sitting down at the restaurant, at the table, you know what I'm saying? And, the waiter comes up, and he, she grabs the chair and moves to the side so that they can sit down in the front while I'm talking. <laughs> but they black, so I ain't gonna talk about them. Me and them. <laughs> How you doing? Who yeah. don't mind me having a color purple for some What's your name? Abana. Abana. What's your name? Don't. What's your name, baby? Don't. What's your name? Shante. Shante and Abana. Abana and Shante. Abana and Shante. That's a beautiful Abana. That's a beautiful name. Let's give Abana a hand for saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like, you know, yo, 
VP busts cats. <laughs> and VP spills oil and kills chickens. <laughs> Go from Mexico wants BP out. <laughs> BP is slow and lazy on the cleanup. <laughs> BP six reparations. <laughs> BP niggas go back to Africa. It's like, <laughs> I'm <looking> up. <laughs> it's worse. But yo, y'all been a good crowd, man. Before I go, I just want to say, you know, I'm, I've been enjoying doing comedy and meeting people and stuff like that. I'm like, you know, kind of different. Period. You know. And like, you know, I'm not really gangster. I'm not gangster at all. I'm not thug. I wish I was thug. But it's like, I don't, I don't do like gangster things. You know, like, I, I like breathing and living. You know, I, so I don't want to get shot. But I like doing stuff, you know, like, like playing Frisbee, you know what I'm saying? Nintendo. I like blowing bubbles. You know what I mean? blowing bubbles, you know what I'm saying? You will never go to any corner in the ghetto or anywhere and see like a black dude standing on the corner like, hey, yo, Leroy, you going to the bodega? Yo, pick me up some Newports, some white t-shirts, and some bubbles, son. You know what I'm saying? You will never see this. My hopes and dreams, son. Okay, it's time for a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs>